Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday morning. Uh, I think it's like 6.15. I need to leave for Pilates in like 10 minutes. So I'm about to drink my green smoothie and then I'm gonna make some hot lemon water and head out the door. I'm so excited. I'm taking a 7 a.m. Pilates class. I do this with a friend. I take them like I take 7 a.m. pretty often actually now, but Tuesday 7 a.m. I take with my friend Kat every week and it's really incredible. So I'm going to drink this really quickly and head out. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. I go to Zoe Leadership College, which is accredited through Southeastern University, which is an extension site of Southeastern. When I graduate, I'll have my bachelor's in business this spring. An internship, miss a school. It's really cool. A little bit different. I feel like I have to explain that just for everyone who's new, just in case. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to make some hot lemon water. And I'm making an Instagram story. If you guys haven't followed me on Instagram, it's Kinsey Elizabeth. I almost forgot it for a second. Um, also, I have this lemon squeezer. It's the best thing I ever bought. Um, it's from Amazon. I'll have my Amazon page linked. Sorry, that is so freaking loud. Um, but I'll have it linked down below. Oh my gosh, guys, hot lemon water in the morning is the best thing ever. And it's just amazing. First off, okay, do you guys want to see an entire... I wake up at like 5.45 on these days. Do you guys want to see an entire like 5.45, 6 a.m. college morning routine? Let me know. But I have like my whole life with me right now and it's really gloomy. And I freaking love it right now. This is my favorite weather even though it's not weather. It's just because it's super early. But, you know, you know what I'm saying. Guys, I literally have a lunchbox now for my breakfast and snacks. I mean, and lunch. Aren't you proud of me? I'm on my way to class right now have my hot lemon water um i'm listening to the new episode of the skinny confidential because michael and lauren is announcing they're pregnant and it's literally like ah, their stuff is like their instagrams are so cute anyways i love them and i'm like so excited for them so i don't really know why i keep vlogging i just really feel like talking to the camera i guess um and no one else in the world is really awake right now just getting a lot of people wake up at this time, I guess, whatever. Um, but I'm gonna listen to their pregnancy announcement podcast, and that's it. We hit her pregnancy for like five months, that's actually like crazy. I feel like I would literally tell everyone immediately, like, it wouldn't like to the point where, like, you're not supposed to tell until like 12 weeks. I, I need to like make sure I make it to that point, but I just don't know if I would. I just changed, I'm gonna go get finish like doing my hair and makeup in the car. Here we are. Okay, people, I'm getting ready. I'm so hungry. Wow. I'm gonna do a very, very minimal makeup look. Um, this is kind of what I do. Oh my gosh. This is more of my like everyday, everyday. Um, but super easy. First thing, I have my Tiger Grass Cream. This stuff is the best, especially when you're paler. It just like really, really blurs out your pores and it's the best. Brows, we're gonna brush them out and fill them in a little bit. I'm gonna put on this Becca. Well, really, I should put on like. I'm gonna put on a little bit of this Drunk Elephant moisturizer. Oh, I definitely put on more than I meant. Okay, and then I'm just gonna put on this Becca Illuminating Primer. I'm not actually gonna put any like thing on my face, but even without any product on, I find that this makes my skin look healthier and dewier. So. We're gonna add a little cloud paint. You guys know that I've been loving, I'm trying to fix the lighting, cloud paint. A little bit goes a long way though. It's better to like do very little and then build it up than to do a lot, cause I always accidentally do a lot. I accidentally just did all that. Why did I do that? Well, I like almost had it perfect and now here we are. Then just a little bit of mascara. That's pretty much it. Now I had to fix my hair. So I'm gonna let my hair just down for a little bit and then I'll pull it back into a bun. But that is my like two minute makeup look in the car for class. It's like actually so freaking easy. I'm now, see guys, I'm so prepared. Gonna have my overnight oats. Finish listening to a podcast. I don't have class for like another hour, but I still have to drive there, which it's only like 15 minutes away. Um, also, look at my cute water bottle, Healthish, I believe. Send it to me. And it has like times and stuff, but I drink way more water than like to need time. So it's really cute and I really like it. I'll have it linked down below if you guys are interested. I'm always into like nice cute water bottles i feel like you can never have too many you know here are my beautiful overnight oats people i'm so excited i don't think i want four shots this tonight <laughs> 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 
Okay guys, I'm back from class and I just came home to a package from Princess Polly. I just, I picked these out. I bought them myself. I didn't have them. They weren't set or anything. Um, last week, I just wanted like a white long sleeve shirt that was like semi cropped. So it actually looked good with like any of my higher waisted jeans. So I picked up this one, which I'll probably ruin it within like two seconds. <sighs> so hopefully that doesn't happen. And then I just got this big brown cute sweater. I also, um, these were not sent to me again, but I normally have a coat. I think my 20% off code for Princess Polly is like lovekenzie 20 I literally use my own code. Um, but it's so soft and I'm just gonna wear this all the time and I love it and it's so freaking cute. I also got a new pair of the Outdoor Voices sweats, the exact same one. So mine were a little bit big on me, so I gave them to a friend and then I ordered them in a size small because they're literally the best sweats ever. But I honestly might need to go extra small because my gray ones are small and those fit well, but I feel like, I don't know. My gray Outdoor Voices sweats are gone and so is my brandy jacket that I used to wear every day. I just got my car back and I thought they were in my car and I guess they're not. So I need to go figure out where those are. But that is my haul for today, people. Very exciting. Coco. Come on. Aww. Coco's with her best friend. Hey. Ooh. Wow. Oh, Coco, no more barking. Oh, okay. I'm just now showing you. The shirt is Brandy Melville. These jeans are Levi's, but they're like, I don't know, I just washed them and I thought that they were gonna shrink again, but they're just like a little bit too big at all times, like pretty much all of my jeans. Guys, we have really exciting news for um, today's, what's on today's agenda. So I left class, went and picked up Quentin, got my car, and we were, I don't even know how it came up. We were gonna have Jones for dinner. Very solid choice. Really good, we had that a lot. But. We decided <laughs> that we are going to Texas Roadhouse, but Praise. we like looked up because I've been to this one one other time because there's like this I vlog this every year, but there's this like really cool pumpkin patch like two and a half three hours like east of LA that I love that we'll definitely very excited for yeah we're definitely going back we're looking on our calendars but um, I went to Texas Roadhouse on the way home. From that and anyways we just both love texas roadhouse and it's like we're literally driving two hours for it so we're going on a mini road trip surprise tuesday mini road trip to texas roadhouse spontaneity yeah we're really okay quentin like genuinely thinks that we're spontaneous people like i'm so spontaneous. No, 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 no. i'm glued to my google calendar i will be the first to admit that i'm not spontaneous and we one time went at like after church at like 11 p.m. to the Santa Monica Pier, which is like gross, but for some, it was just like, it was a good time. Like, it was really fun and got pizza. And it was actually spontaneous, and that was like a really fun time. It was the photos that, the first photos that I posted with Quentin. Really fun time. But that was like cute. It was it, like, if you guys have seen the Hannah Mont Montana movie, that's um, where that was. But yeah, so we did that one time, and Quentin thinks that overall we're spontaneous, and we're just not. I think. We're spontaneous within your guardrails, if that makes sense. Okay, like, what was the other thing that we said was spontaneous? Oh, last week. Yeah, sometimes we are. This is one of those times, and we're like, going we'll to text decide to house. hang, but then we're spontaneous when we decide to hang. Most of the time, we're, like, really chill, and we don't leave the house, though. So, sometimes you have to do things like this. Because we like to watch This Is Us. Yeah, we're just coming back this month, guys. September 24th. That's our favorite show ever. It's, it's so good. If you want to cry, watch it. If you want to laugh, watch it. If you want to smile, watch it. Yeah. It's all be, the emotions. All the emotions. I'm like actually, I'm so excited. Oh, we're gonna, um, we're throwing uh, watch parties. Just this is us? Yeah. Um, I'm posting Before. it in my house. So, comment down below if you guys like This Is Us. And I'm really excited for Texas Roadhouse. So, we just keep thinking about the rules. If per, by wow. chance, <laughs> who do you think I am? Am I Randall? No. Oh, okay. I'm really glad you brought this up. Okay, so Quentin is like, okay, I understand if you don't know Quentin, maybe you think he's Kevin. That's not fair because they don't know you well. Like, okay. so Kevin, if you guys watch this, is us. If you don't, skip like the next minute or watch, but Kevin is the like actor he's like all over the place uh he's the good looking one which is why quentin wants to be him but he's all over the place like has like a i don't know he's just like all over the place randall is brilliant like 
really like healthy, great all around, definitely the best person on the show. Like, uh, like there, there's so many similarities. Like adopted. There's like literally Quentin. What? You are Randall. Kevin's misunderstood. No, you're not misunderstood. Just, you're literally the uh, most. Okay, Quentin is the most wholesome person I've ever met in my he's entire just like life. A, no. Chasing his passion, and he's misunderstood. If so. you, if you guys knew Quentin like well. You would understand that him and Randall are literally the same person, and he's nothing like Kevin. You are way too good to be Kevin. I'll, I'll admit, Randall and I have some similarities, but Kevin has great hair. That's I all. You, that's all you care about. It. It's literally just because Kevin is the like popular, attractive one. Like that's why. But anyways, comment down below if you guys think he's Randall or Kevin. But I promise you, he's Randall. You know. Agree to disagree. <laughs> okay, whatever. This is on September 24th. <laughs> Watch it with us, why not? <laughs> wow, everyone. Uh, this is the best day of our lives. <laughs> We're thriving. How are you feeling? I am elated. <laughs> I think I could cry. I'm so excited. I think you are crying. <laughs> Guys, we made it. Wow. Wow. Is this heaven? No. <laughs> but it's pretty dang close. Yeah, actually. This is the best day of my entire life. Okay, we're leaving. We got my roommate Bailey food. She's also from Texas. We were leaving and Quentin told them we're from LA and they gave us extra bread and extra, extra butter. The cinnamon butter, it's the secret sauce. Texas Red House. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. You should get to know. Guys, when I say that Quentin's a hand talker, this is what I'm referring to. Did you see that just now? See? <laughs> It's, it's who I am. Yeah, My yeah, Italian, yeah, yeah. Who knows? Here's <laughs> updated. What were you gonna say? Well, the funny thing is, I'm adopted. <laughs> so, 23 and me. He, we're gonna figure out soon. He always says he's Italian because am he doesn't Italian? know. Because he talks with his hands, but he's adopted, so like he doesn't know if he's Italian. Anyways, Texas Roadhouse, we love you. 23 and me, we also love you. I'm like, if you wanna send. You have the keys, right? He always does this thing where he acts like I have the keys. I think you have them. I think you have them, right? Let's see. <laughs> wait, I might have. Oh, wait, I definitely do because I locked the car, I the, think. The bread smells so good. And I had six rolls. I splurged them out. Oh, yeah, no, I've never eaten more food in my entire life. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who has the keys? <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I'm currently making a smoothie. Okay, so it is currently like 7.20. I don't have class until 9.15, so I'm gonna leave in like an hour and a half. But right now, I'm just eating breakfast. So, um, I don't food combine anymore for anyone who's gonna ask, but I do like the like hot lemon water in the morning and the smoothies. Slash a lot of the recipes and like the way of eating, I actually do like it. I just don't like stick to it strictly or anything like that. I like love a lot of the recipes from like the reset and stuff still, but um, yeah, I just made some hot lemon water and then just like a random smoothie I put together and I'm gonna have that this morning. It just makes me feel better. Like this, I will say, like it makes a huge difference in your life. Okay, I'm posting an Instagram story and I'm gonna start reading really quickly. I just wanted to tell you guys um, what I've been reading because I've been reading so much. So, um, let's get... So I just read A Love Letter Life, which, like, no offense to anyone, that literally is the last book I would ever read. Um, but my friend recommended it to me and she's like, you have to read it, it's so good. Like, I understand that it's not your thing, but you're gonna love it. And actually, guys, it's really good. They go through, like, their whole love life, or their whole, like, love story, but, like, they get, like, they just talk about, like, prob I don't know, it's just, like, really good, like, really insightful. Just, like, it was a really great story because it's sweet and it feels like you're reading, like, a cute book. But it was, like, actually, like, very wise and, like, practical. It was just good, okay? Anyways, I finished that in, like, two days. It was really good. And now I'm reading Draw the Circle, the 40-Day Prayer Challenge, which I've seen, like, a friend of mine has been reading and so obsessed with it. So I picked it up, and I'm going to use this as my Devo for the next 40 days, and I'll keep you guys posted. But I freaking love my room now, guys. I have my hot lemon water and my smoothie, and I'm just going to read. Hey, guys. So it is now 
Wednesday? Yeah, Wednesday morning. My hair's crazy. It's been in a bun all night and then I just took it out and it's kind of like wavy and I'm just gonna let it be until I'm inevitably too tired of it and I put on or I put it back up in a bun like always but um, I'm not taking Pilates until tonight and tomorrow night so I actually have my mornings to myself which is really great so I woke up um, I I woke up at like 7 and I don't have class till 9.15 and then I made a smoothie, hot lemon water, I read, I started like a new reading plan that I'm really excited for. I've heard amazing things so I'll keep you guys posted and then I got ready. It takes me literally 5 minutes to get ready because you guys saw my makeup look yesterday. It's like the easiest thing ever. It's not really... I guess like it is makeup but it's not. You know what I mean? Because half of it is like skincare products. Um, so that was really quick and yeah, it just changed. I'm currently wearing my new Outdoor Voices sweats, um, the black ones, and then my black Aritzia crew neck, just like really, really comfy for class. So I'm gonna head head out. I'm gonna go to the kitchen. I'm gonna make some avocado toast. I have my favorite food for life bread for once. I never have it because I pretty much always grocery shop at Trader Joe's and they have it at Whole Foods, but I did my grocery shopping at Whole Foods this week. So it's just the little things, you know? Okay, so now I'm gonna make some coffee. Then of course, I'm adding my collagen. Okay, I made some avocado toast, and I'm putting on my favorite, everything with the bagel seasoning. This stuff is the best ever. Guys, when I get in my car after Quentin drove it last, I have to take like 30 seconds to readjust. My car also readjusts to him and not me because I feel like he does drive more than I do anyway, so it adjusts to him now, which is really annoying. But finally have my car, which is so great. And if you guys don't know, if you didn't watch my vlog, like, I, almost two weeks ago, it was something so minor. Like, it always sounds like there's something wrong with my car, and there really isn't. It's just, honestly, that my, like, warranty and insurance people are really difficult to work with. Long story short, none of this matters. It wasn't that big of a deal. They were just waiting for approval for, like, a week. So, I had Dom's car for the week because she's a freaking angel. And now Dom has her car back. I have my car back. And I'm going to listen to the podcast. Yay! I just wanted to bring back these shots because these are classic college week in my life shots as I'm trying to, as I'm literally waiting to get on the 101. Um, and the lighting is awful and I always complain about the lighting. So we're back to normal people. I'm excited for today. I'm excited for the podcast recording over lunch. I need to like really go over it. I have an outline of like 22 of my favorite episodes and then we're going to put in like our favorite clips from a bunch of them. I don't actually know if I said this at all. Okay, let's backtrack. Um, my podcast turns one next week, so we are recording today in the studio our one-year anniversary, which is really exciting. I'm um, our one-year episode, so it's very, 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 very exciting, people, and I can't wait for this. It's going to be great. Love it so much. I'm just waiting in traffic, and like I'm going to get to class at 9-11, and I have to be there at 9-15, and I'm the person who likes, if I'm not 10 minutes early, I'm late, so like it's kind of stressing me out. Oh, that's cool. Eating lunch. Okay, people, I'm now out of class. I got out a little bit early. It's like 2.40. So, the great news about this is that I get to go get chacha matcha before my recording, which, as you guys know, is my favorite thing to do. Um, I'm a little bit tired. I need a little bit of a snack, a pick me up, because I still have a two hour. Um, I think I can turn. I'm gonna turn. Um, I still have a two hour session today followed by hot pilates which i'm really excited for so the first session is really exciting like i said earlier we're recording our one year i love you so much episode i actually also my dad got me like a cake as like a like i love you so much turns one so cute and i'm gonna get it on saturday i'm hosting like a girls her connect thing uh through like zoe at my house and then a bunch of girls will be over and like some friends are gonna like come after and we're just gonna have a cake because I really only wanted it for photos and I'm never that person but I thought that this would be cute because I'm not the person with like the balloons and stuff that's not really me but I thought this would be cute and also I'm not gonna like just get it for the photos so I was like just come over and we can eat Susie cake because it's the best cake ever so that's been taken care of today I've been working on a lot of stuff at school now I'm going to the studio or cha cha matcha then I'm going to the studio and we're recording our whole one year episode which is so exciting I have to get into the the spirit of all of this um i actually was just trying to listen to my first episode and i listened to like a little bit of it and i was like i hate listening to myself talk so i turned it off but like i tried you know so that's exciting very excited for my matcha nitro cannot wait what a great day at school people 
really awesome and I'm really excited for Pilates because it's my favorite instructor Daylight. She's the best and she has the best music and one of my best friends Jess is coming with me and I'm really excited. Making a stop at Chacha Matcha. Here I am. My favorite, um, I guess not coffee shop, but matcha shop ever. Not that those really exist much, but it's so, it's the best in every vlog. I got my nitro latte. If you guys ever can go to Cha Cha Matcha, like this is my all time favorite drink ever, like to literally ever exist. It is just the best drink ever. You guys know I love nitro, like cold brews, and I'm obsessed with matcha right now, so this is just the best. Fun fact everyone, I always listen to Beyonce live when I'm like on my way to meetings and recordings and whatever, because it really just like puts me in a great mood. So I have like a three minute drive to the studio, but doesn't mean I'm not gonna do it, and I'm gonna be ready to record. Let me hear you say, hey, Miss Carter. Made it. Ah, uh, guys, it's just literally the best ever. Oh, I moved the mic, is that okay? It's like the same distance though. So. Yeah, just a second. Hey guys, welcome back to the I Love You So Much podcast with me, Kenzie Elizabeth, and my producer, Taylor. For the long haul of a one year, basically ha trek. Yeah, happy birthday to this podcast. Um, technically, it's one year birthday is tomorrow. We're gonna tell the whole story of like, how it even came about and we're gonna go through like our favorite episodes and like kind of pull some old clips and just like it's gonna be a really great cute heartfelt episode the security guard is staring at me it's really annoying go away please anyways okay i just got out of the studio it was incredible i'm gonna go take pilates these cars are really being annoying um i was on facetime with my best friend maddie trap who's coming to visit in a few weeks if you guys are a long time viewer then you would know her but yeah, it was great. I'm gonna go into Pilates now. Can't wait, it's my favorite teacher. I'm out of Pilates. This is what I look like right now, people. Okay, my room feels like amazing. It smells so good because of these candles that we got. I can't remember where I got them from. Dang it. I definitely said it in the 24 hour room challenge. We just went to so many stores. But anyways, took a shower. Um, I'm using my Summer Fridays mask. It's currently 8.43. I'm gonna go make like a little bit of like a dessert and then potentially edit a little bit and then I need to read. That's my plan for tonight. But loving this face mask. I'll have it linked down below. It's so good. Okay, so I just made like a healthier-ish dessert. I have my food for life gluten-free bread. Um, some like vegan butter and then cinnamon. It's just like it's really good. It's like a little bit healthier, you know So that's what I did. Also, I'm watching Molly's new video. Love you Molly. Good morning everyone. It is currently I think it's almost seven um, I just need to put some mascara on and then I feel like my face makeup looks really weird on camera But it doesn't in real life. Anyways, um, I'm just getting ready. I have class at 9 15 Dom and I are gonna get breakfast before so I need to head out in like a few minutes I ran out of mascara and then last night I came home to a package from Too Faced of my favorite two mascaras. So I'm gonna do the Better Than Sex mascara right now. This is the best mascara, like one of them ever to literally ever exist. So I'm doing that. I'm actually wearing makeup and I did my hair. I like never really fully get ready, especially for like with my hair because it always gets ruined hot Pilates. So I feel like I'm just wasting my time. But then my hair is never done, so like obviously I need to do something about that. If you guys take hot classes, like, what do you do? Because like there's literally no way around it. But I need to figure it out. So if any of you guys have any great hacks, um, please let me know because I need to know. Here is my outfit for today. This top and sweater, what I just got from Princess Polly. I just have some Levi's on and my Yeezys, my normal jewelry, and I'm ready. Okay guys, so I'm now on my way to class. I'm listening to Oceans right now. If you guys know, you know that is a real throwback. Um, so anyways, Dom and I, um, we like to like, we get breakfast with just each other and we confess every awful or good or whatever thing ever. We normally do car confessions. And you know that one friend that you just like literally tell everything to? That's me and Dom. So um, we have our Thursday morning breakfast. So we're going right now. Um, we're going to this place called Rise and Grind. If you guys remember a few vlogs ago, we went to it. It's only because our office right now um, that we've been renting is in Hollywood. And so this place is like off Hollywood Boulevard. I mean, it's literally, I hate Hollywood Boulevard so much. Um, but the office itself is like in this cool building. And then uh, Rise and Grind is pretty cool and it's like really cheap. So we're going there for breakfast, which will be fun. I left my notebook and Bible. And I left my like books yesterday 
at the office, which kind of sucks. So I only have my iPad and we're gonna read, but it's fine because I started that new like Devo plan thing and it's like the best thing ever. I'm only on like today would be day two and I'm we made it to Rise and Grind, people. Oh my gosh, look at Dom's new hairstyle, guys. We, she, you guys are not gonna get this, but she said she's a guest relations girl now because everyone who serves on the team has like the same. It's like the hairstyle I wear, but it's I'm not like on guest a relations. Really cute hairstyle, and they all dress really cute, <laughs> and so like I'm just like I'm a guest relations. <laughs> so cute. Woohoo! Amazing. Guys, went to class. Now I'm back at the same coffee shop. Here's my snacks. I just spent six dollars on the same grapes. I blame Kaylin. But it's like literally these are the best grapes of my whole life. So here we go. Alright guys, so I'm out of school. I went to Rise and Grind. It's the coffee shop with Dom for breakfast. And then I went to class. And then we ended up doing things off-site. So I literally went back to Rise and Grind. I think I spent six hours there today. Um, I did a bunch of stuff for Zoe in school. And then I did like work and then whatever. I stayed later than I needed to. Okay, this sweater right here is so cute the one i was wearing earlier but it sheds like crazy like jess was killing me because i got all of her, her black hoodie when we were sitting for a teaching earlier but like now it's all in my eyes and i feel awful um but great news people hot pilates i know guys it, and is it really annoying in the vlogs it's just like like i say all the time i vlog my life and i go literally every day so it would be hard to avoid my makeup wipes are like hot, that's so gross. But definitely taking this makeup off. So I'm going to Hot Pilates and Quentin's actually working right now at Equinox. And then after that, I'm picking him up. And then we're gonna get Jones tonight because we're gonna do that on Tuesday. But then we went to Texas Roadhouse um, and just hang out. All right, so I'm at Hot Pilates. I just changed, I'm wearing, I don't really like wearing a sports bra because I really don't like when my boobs are completely out. There's nothing that I can do about this. So the sports bra is Lulu, and then I'm just wearing Lulu leggings. These are the Align leggings. I don't normally work out in these, um, but I grabbed the wrong ones when I pack my bag, apparently, but they're so comfortable. So whatever, it's not that bad, because at least it's like a low impact workout, but you're not supposed to work out in these, I already know, but we'll be fine. Also, I use the like slip silk um, little hair ties. Those work the best. Um, for me in hot workouts. All right guys, I'm out of Pilates. I just put moisturizer on. That's why my face doesn't look as crazy um, Okay, I need to let my hair Ugh, Like I literally hate how my hair is never done. How many times can I say that in a video? Um, also My new water bottle um, that health ish sent me uh, a lot of people have been complimenting me on it everywhere I go Class was so good. They go by so fast at this point. Like, I know I talk about this all the time, but it's just really abnormal how much I love Pilates. It is my favorite thing ever, and I know that so many vlogs are so repetitive because of it. Um, but, like, I'm really sorry. Anyways, I'm going to go pick up Quentin. He was working at an Equinox. There's actually an Equinox right here. Like, literally, so this is Sunset, which if you guys, um, I feel like majority of people have heard of Sunset Boulevard in Los Angeles. There's a Hot Pilates, Equinox, Soul Cycle. Rumbles right here like so many things I literally want to move right here just because I would walk to this every single morning Like it would actually be that like it would make sense for me to move here There's an earth bar. There's a sweet li sweet life. There's a sweet green my favorite salad place There's just so many things. There's a dry bar across the street actually hey guys. I just came home I ordered a new necklace from the M jewelers and it came <gasps> Cute, it's just a gold chain. I just want a bunch of chains basically to layer with the necklace that I already have. I really like either personalized jewelry or chains right now. So I got that to try it out and they always, like they literally always have sales. So I think it was 40% off or something, which is a great steal. And I All right, so this package from Wonder Beauty has, oh, this is so exciting. Okay, so I don't want to like open all this right now. But it is the Wondrous Rush eyeshadow palette, a liquid eyeliner, which I haven't had a liquid eyeliner. I was thinking about this today in, like, honestly, at least a year and a half. I haven't done winged eyeliner in the longest time ever. And then, oh, a good brow gel. Perfect. So I'll let you guys know how I like these. I really like Wonder Beauty. Um, I haven't tried, like, their makeup. I think this might be their first, I don't know, I always used to, like, skincare and, like, oils and stuff. But this is exciting. Guys, we ordered lemonade from Jordache and Quentin... Is serving dinner tonight. Great job. Keep it up. Um, I'll have my DoorDash uh, link. Link down below. $20 credit if you guys use it. Great deal, people. I'm home. Change into my perfect slippers, everyone. Love this for me. 
Oh, Coco, oh, you just look so happy. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, how are you doing? Oh, okay. Good morning, everyone. It is currently 6.20. I'm about to head out for Hot Pilates. Um, I'm just wearing this from Lulu. There's a little bit of something on it, but, like, it's way too early, and I'm not going to change because of that. I just don't care. Um, and then I'm wearing, again, Lulu. I know I'm wearing another pair of Align leggings. These are not really it for working out. I know that, but, like, I don't want to do laundry, and this is what is there right now. So, slash, I can't have to leave for class, but they're just, like, literally so comfortable. So, this is my outfit. Okay guys, good morning. Uh, it is 6.30. I'm on my way to Pilates as you guys know. I love a good 7 a.m. class, but this morning's really exciting. It's actually um, my friend Kat's birthday, so I'm going with her to this class and then we're getting birthday blowouts together after and then from there I'm gonna go um, I'm recording a podcast with Adrian Finch, which will be really exciting. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, tonight, I have Kat's birthday dinner at John and Vinny's, which is my favorite restaurant. So if you guys know the blanket, I know it's like annoying. Oh, I'm drinking a green smoothie, just so you guys know. Yeah, and then tonight, middle of the night, I'm just going to be home getting work done and like, what t not? I don't know why I said that so weird. So, this is like my really ideal perfect morning and I really am excited. Guys, just got out of Hot Pilates. We're on sunset right now. We're gonna go get some coffee and then off to our dry bar appointments. We had some dry bar drama just now. Dry bar drama! Uh, my fault, dry bar drama. We got it all fixed. Favor on our side. Favor on our side. We got it all fixed and we're going. Um, I feel, oh my gosh, gross, but we're getting our hair done. Today's gonna be a good day. How's your birthday going? Good because you're here. Yeah. Got my iced matcha latte with oat milk. Made it to dry bar! Yeah, like girl, go badass for sure. Especially because it'll be like so like dusty. Yeah, yes. oh yeah, true. Alright, my hair is done. So it's Kat's hair. It looks incredible. We had this like basically sweet. Yes, I know. To ourselves. It was really incredible. We really we really had some dry bar miracles today. No, really, for Lots real. of dry bar miracles. <laughs> Um, but we have to go check out and I need to head to the studio. Okay guys, I'm on my way to the studio. You guys know the drill. I have Beyonce live going, sunroof down. Feels amazing. It is 10 a.m. I am like overall so much happier of a human being when I have early mornings. Like I basically do something early every morning and it's incredible and it just makes me a happier person. So anyways, I'm on my way to the studio. I'm recording with Adrian today, which will be really exciting. And you guys will hear the episode soon. If you guys have not already checked out my podcast, you should. It's linked down below, every single video. It's the best thing ever. Guys, we're in the studio. Adrian is here. I'm so excited. We're gonna record for her episode, her podcast next week. We will figure that out today. But we've made it. Same. I don't know. Like you'll have an idea and be like, well, yep. is that even fine? Exactly. Hey. Or what? That's how I feel. I'm like, I just don't freaking know. Okay, I'm gonna work from home for the next few hours, so I've set it up. But guys, my blowout has like pretty much completely fallen out, which is so annoying. I can fix it, but it's just like, that sucks. Normally my hair stays. I don't know why it's not staying today. <sighs> Great. Just got some Takaya delivered for lunch. This is the best food ever. Using the Caviar app. I've been using a lot of food delivery apps. If you guys live in LA though, Caviar is the best one. And if you use my Caviar code, you guys get $20. And like these codes also cover the food, which is amazing. So, can't wait. Hey guys, so it is now almost six. I have Kat's birthday reservations at seven at John and Vinny's, which is like our favorite restaurant. It's all my friends' favorite restaurant. And I just changed. It honestly took me a literal hour to figure out what I want to wear because I hate all of my clothes right now. Um, but this skirt is like Nasty Gal, my Air Force One's white socks I just got from Amazon. They're like the perfect for this look. Um, this white crop top that's like so off color because I washed it with colors and not white. So that's from Urban. And then I have this jacket. I think it's from Boohoo. I don't really know, honestly. And then I just have my normal joy on. I need to leave because I have to pick up a present. And then I'm gonna head this way, um, but yeah, this is really a mess, guys. Okay, so I just picked up Kat's birthday present. It's from me and Sab, and I'm actually going to pick Sab up right now. And then we're going to John and Benny's for dinner. I don't know why I can't say that. I was just like really stressed today, guys. I don't know why, like my, actually I do know why, like my room 
my house is getting to the point where like it's not as organized as it once was I need to just go through and do a deep clean and organize type thing but I have people coming over at like really early tomorrow because I'm hosting like a connect thing for whatever so I'm just like uh, I need to freaking clean tonight but it's Friday the 13th we're gonna be out for a bit it's Kat's birthday. I'm gonna get home late and then I'm probably just gonna like set a timer for an hour and see how much cleaning I can do and then that's just gonna be it. Oh my gosh. Um, but I'm picking Sab up now and I like couldn't figure out what outfit I wanted to wear and I was like stressed because her birthday stuff, her present got messed up and yeah. Here we are, people, you know, it happens to us. Comment down below when the last time is you almost cried because you hated all of your clothes and you had nothing to wear. Me, it, mine was like an hour ago, so. To sing on? Hey guys, it's Q coming at you. Kinsey left her camera with me and I'm going up to Susie Cakes to pick her up a cake for the I Love You So Much one year anniversary. Is this the content you want? Is this the content you deserve? I don't know, you decide. She doesn't know I'm recording this. But we're in Studio City right now, about to walk up into Susie Cakes. Hi people, it is the next day. My friend Kaylin is here. She's busy working in my office. It's Saturday now. I think Quentin vlogged earlier. I haven't looked through the footage yet, but we are doing like a little, some, well not like a shoot, but we got a cake because it's the one year birthday of my podcast. So we're celebrating and I need some photos and stuff. I literally never do that stuff and I just need to be better about it. So that's what we're doing later. But I have the craziest story for you guys. I accidentally left my camera with Quentin last night, so that's why I like didn't vlog any of this. But I was on my way to pick up Sav and I get pulled over. Well, first off, I'm on the phone with Quentin, but it's on speaker. Like I'm not like it's like playing throughout my car. It's not like in my hand. And this cop kept like looking at me. And I was like, this is kind of weird. And I was like, obviously avoiding eye contact because like I didn't want to get pulled over for like whatever. And I like made eye contact. And like I look back now and I'm like, that was weird. And then all of a sudden he like has the sirens and pulls me over and I'm like, wait, what? So I get pulled over and he like comes and he's like, hey, and the sticker on my car is like expired, but the car is registered. I just haven't switched the stickers out. So like, it's not, you have like six months leeway, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So anyways, he's like, oh no, you're good. But by the time he's walking up to me, I can like hear them listing off all my information and my address and stuff on the like walkie talkie things. And I was like, okay, like whatever. And so he's like, y'all know you're so fine, but can I have your license? And I was like, yeah, I'm 22 and I haven't gotten my, li my license like renewed. I'm so stupid. So my license is expired. So at this point I'm like, okay, yeah, shoot. I'm like definitely in trouble, whatever. And he comes back and he's like really, really nice. Like I'm texting Sav and I'm like, oh my gosh, but he's nice and we're friends. And like, cause I'm so naive. And so I'm like, no, it's like so good. He's like a nice cop. We're going to be late to John and Vinny's for a reservation, which was like upsetting. But I was like, it's fine. I'm not going to get in trouble. So then he like comes over and he's like, oh, your license is expired. And he's like calling me Texas and like all this stuff, whatever. And he like keeps asking me these questions, but he's like progressively getting flirtier. And I was like, wait, what? And then he's like, basically said he pulled me over for like no reason. And then I'm good. Which like, why would he even scan my place to begin with? Like he was looking at me before. Like it was weird. And every time I tell anyone this story, they're like, I don't even know if he was a cop. It was just weird. Oh, important to know. There was a guy in the passenger seat too, like a friend of his who was wearing just like an all black champion sweatsuit. But he was like a police officer in a police car wearing a champion sweatsuit in the passenger seat and he would like go around and then like every time the cop would come to me like he would be right next to my like at the driver's seat and the friend would be at the passenger side which is weird and they just kept going back and forth and then he pulls out an invite on his phone and he invites me to some weird poker party and was like okay well really like I would love to see you and your friends there blah 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 so he like pulls me over to flirt with me and then invites me to a party and makes me late for the John and Vinny's reservation. And yeah, it was really, really, really weird. And I don't know why they would have scanned like my, I don't know why out of all the times they did that. It was like very random, um, but it was just like a really weird experience. So that is ending off my vlog with my getting pulled over. Sorry, people. Hope you guys enjoyed. I feel like this vlog was longer, hopefully. I have a ice matcha right now, and we're gonna take these photos. Follow my Instagram to see them. This vlog is probably gonna be up after, I feel like. I don't really know. Love you guys so much, and I'll see you soon.